Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I got another one. I'm so excited to show you. You guys really, really seem to like the last one, my fur coat collection video. So if you haven't seen that, stay tuned. At the end of this one, I'm gonna link to that one. So it's just a click away. But in today's video, I'm dying to show you the one that I literally just got today. So it's actually my very first mink. You can see her back there. I also just wanted to give you some styling tips because a lot of you seem to say the same thing in the comments on the last one was that sometimes long fur coats are hard to style and that's why I wanted to make that last video just to give you a few more ideas of different ways to style them because with vintage coats especially, it can just be a little bit difficult to make them look really modern. So in today's video, I wanna give you even more tips and they're pretty simple and straightforward to follow. But for those of you that commented on the last one, I just wanna say thank you. It's been great talking to you guys in the comments, so feel free to leave more in this one, but I'm dying to hear what you think of this one on. It's not just mink, it's also mixed with some blue fox collar that just extends down the whole front. It's gorgeous. So I'm so excited to just put it on. I tried it at the store obviously, but I haven't tried it on since I got home. So this is like almost like the unboxing version of a fur coat. So I hope that you like it. Let's get started. I just wanted to start off by showing you my outfit. It's actually completely thrifted. So this top is just like a velvet one. It's got this cute little neckline detail. It is cropped, can come down a little bit so that you're not as cold outside. But I also have on with it just some genuine leather trousers. And yes, they are genuine, but they're just the most comfortable and again, the warmest. And they don't give you that like, plasticky feeling on your skin. It's one of the things that I don't love about the faux vibe. It's just a little less breathable. So if you can find a good vintage pair of genuine leather trousers, ones like these are great. I also love that the waist is super cinched so it gives some definition there and they just fit amazingly. So I'm gonna pop on a pair of shoes and I'm gonna put on the fur coat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't wait to show you the very like full length of this in the mirror, but first of all, I think that this is Blue Fox, but I, I could be wrong. All of you seemed to know right away what the fur coat was that I was asking about in the last one, the type of it was. So please let me know if you've got any more specific details about this one. I feel like you guys are the experts more than I am, so I'd love to hear. This coat is insane. Let me flip you around. I'm dying to show you the whole thing and then we can talk through styling tips and just the details about this one. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so let me give you the full look. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. Okay, so I love that there's the fox all the way down the front. Don't mind these boots, I'm gonna try them on later. But I just think that the combination between the mink and the fox is stunning. If anyone has any, again, specific details about the type of mink that it is, I'm very sure that it's not dye. It's definitely the natural color of it. But one of the things that I was a little bit concerned with when getting this one was the sleeves, just because I didn't want the sort of tapering at the sleeves to look a little bit too vintage. But here are a few styling tips that I have in order to make vintage fur coats just like this one look a little bit more modern. One of the first ways that I wanted to mention is exactly what I'm wearing it with now. And it's basically just an all black outfit. So I have the same outfit on that I just showed you in the mirror the only difference is that I pop them on with the sock boots and one of the things that I want to draw your attention to at the bottom is just how I styled them and it's super slouchy and some people will like this some people won't but I've found that what's been really big lately is having wider leg trousers fit into something a little bit more tapered at the bottom or having just a wider leg half boot for example but I think this style is sort of achieving that look because it gives a little bit of edginess 
to the bottom half because the fur coat on top is very definitely vintage inspired but more feminine the edge at the bottom the slouchiness and then into the tapered leg at the bottom on the shoe just really helps to give some more character to how the whole outfit plays together so that's tip number really one and two so tip number one is to wear it with an all black outfit underneath just something basic even it doesn't have to be super fancy what I'm wearing underneath is definitely not it's absolutely more on the casual side and I think that that really helps and then to pair wide leg trousers on the bottom with a really tapered shoe so those are the first two tips Tip number three is to accessorize in ways that are really modern. And we all know, and I actually mentioned this in my last video, that the super skinny sunglass trend is still pretty big, but it's done in this sort of way, more of a rectangular skinny sunglass. So even just like this, when I pop these on, because these are so trendy right now, it just gives more of a trendy edge to the coat that you're wearing because anything that you wear it with is just going to look like you're more on trend, which will help make it more modern. And even just having it up on the top of your head will give the same effect and also just makes it seem like you're more sort of on the go, a little more casual, a little less fancy, and that's something that I think can really help out when you're wearing a full length fur coat like this one. Another accessory that we're seeing everywhere is the chunky gold chain. So even just popping this one on, I'm not gonna do it up, but popping it on and making it more of a choker style will make it look just more modern. And even though, yes, it does dress it up, because of how much it's being seen right now and how trendy just a chunky gold chain is, it's gonna do the same trick of making whatever outfit you have it on with just look more modern. And again, as far as accessorizing goes, you can always just pop anything on with a beanie. In Canada, we call them toques, but if you have something like this, that's just a very simple, casual beanie, I'll flip you around in a second so you can get the full look. It's just gonna make it that much more casual because this is basically something that we wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So pairing something more day-to-day, -day, it's gonna make it look a little bit more cash, but also just give you a whole different style because you're not expecting to see a fur coat with either a hat with a pom-pom on top or a beanie like this one. So try going for a hat that is more dressed down. It's gonna still keep you warm when you're outside, but it's just gonna make the look a little bit more low key. Okay, the beanie's off, but my next styling tip is of course, to belt it, especially with a long coat and one like this that unless I have the closures done up is going to just pop open a little bit. Belting it is gonna make all the difference. This belt that I have is actually from a jumpsuit that I got from Michael Kors, but you can use anyone that you have, obviously. But see what the tones in the jacket are or in the coat are before you add your belt. So for this one, I did wanna do high contrast and go with the black against the more beige light colored fur, only because I've got black underneath and black shoes on, so I wanted to keep with that high contrast but I also wanted a gold buckle just to play with some of the darker, more like caramelly tones and brown tones in the jacket. And also I just find that gold tends to look better on me than silver anyway. So if we belt it, it just gives more dimension. I personally think that cinching your waist is always a good idea. If you were going to do like a tie belt instead, that could really make the look a little bit more dressed down and a little bit more like loungewear versus outerwear. But even just this one, just a black leather belt, gold buckle on top of this, plays with the rest of the outfit, brings out some of my favorite tones in this coat, and I'll flip you around, give you the full look, but I think that this is such a great option. Like just look at that cinch. It really adds a lot when you have something big and puffy on the outside to cinch the waist and give you a much more feminine shape. And it adds more of a modern touch to have something more high contrast. Like if you were gonna pair this with a belt that's the exact same color, it would do good things in having that sort of slimming effect, but it wouldn't give you that same high contrast. Cinching the waist is the easiest way to add just a simple accessory like a belt and gives you a very curated style look so it just to me screams fashion like this is something that I would wear to any sort of more fancy event but also something that you can wear on the day-to-day -day because of this fashion statement that is the belt it makes it look more casual 
but more put together at the exact same time and just helps with a more feminine silhouette and again with a very modern shoe and pant look. I think that this is the best way that I could possibly style this jacket. So if you're getting value out of this so far, please hit the like button. I've got a lot of different videos like this one on my channel giving styling tips. So if you want different ways to just elevate your style, maybe ones that you haven't thought of, consider taking a look because I've put in a lot of effort into a lot of different videos and I think that you'll be able to find something that you can learn from. Whether it is a more casual or a more dressy approach, I try to find ways to do both and especially this belt with this outfit is my best tip so far in my opinion and just helps you feel your absolute best which is what it's all about. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Like I mentioned, I've got a lot more of this type of content on my channel, so consider taking a look at that if you've got a little bit more time to spare. I've got a few more videos linked after this one of ones that I thought you'd like the best. Another one is my most recent video, the fur coat collection video, and I've got some more outerwear videos that I will link to as well, so they're just a click away, but I'll see you guys there or in my next one. Bye.